Good morning everyone, so I'm currently here in London Gatwick Airport in the North Terminal and today I'm very excited to be flying to Dubai with Emirates. I'm uh, also very excited to be flying on the A380 which is one of my favourite aircrafts. So um, yeah, today's video is going to be uh, basically a review of my flight from London Gatwick to Dubai. I've also booked myself access to one of the lounges here, my first time ever in an airport lounge, so I'm very excited for that as well. But I'm currently here, just about to check in my bag, so um, yeah, let's fly to Dubai, shall we? Now, as well as purchasing access to one of the lounges here at the North Terminal here at Gatwick Airport, I've also paid five pounds to go through the premium security. So hopefully I can get through security in record time. Usually at Gatwick here, it can be quite busy. And especially now I'm flying on a Saturday during the Easter holidays, I'm expecting it to be quite busy. So hopefully, fingers crossed, it's a five pounds worth it. But let's, um, yeah, let's go check out the security here at Gatwick Airport. Okay, so all in all, I reckon it took me about 10 minutes to get through security, which is probably the quickest it has ever taken me to get through security, especially here at Gatwick. And now I'm just about to head into the number one lounge here in the North Terminal at Gatwick Airport. I've paid £40 to be able to spend the next three, three and a half hours in this lounge with free food, free drinks. As I mentioned earlier, I've never been in a lounge before at an airport, so I'm incredibly excited. I thought I'd treat myself whilst also thinking that it'd be a, a fun opportunity to sort of show you what it's like to visit one of the lounges here at Gatwick Airport. So um, yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, so I've just come into the number one lounge here at Gatwick Airport and my first impressions are it just screams luxury. I think for £40, it's a really, really good price with unlimited food, unlimited drinks for the next three hours or until my flight. And my flight, okay, so I board at 9.05, but I have plenty of time to sit here, relax, eat lots of food, enjoy some drinks before my flight. So um, yeah, first impressions, really good. Now let's go grab some food. Okay, so first impressions. Now, despite the plates being very, very small, I have managed to get myself some baked beans, a sausage, some hash browns, and some bacon. And I've also got myself a chai latte as well. So um, yeah, very happy. This is gonna be my first plate of many, I think, as I'm gonna be sat here for the next three hours. So um, yeah, it just feels really cool to be in a lounge, especially in one so, um, yeah, kind of luxurious and fancy as this. Um, I'm sure there are many that are more fancy and more luxurious, but like I said, I haven't been to a lounge before. So for me, this is a very cool experience. So um, yeah, I'm gonna tuck into my breakfast and then I'll show you around the rest of the lounge. Okay, so it wouldn't be celebrating my first time here in a lounge at Gatwick Airport and also flying to Dubai without a celebratory glass of Prosecco. I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, isn't it? I do feel a bit bad having um, some Prosecco at 7 a.m., but needs must, let's have a little try. That is very nice, lovely. Okay, I'm gonna enjoy my Prosecco, have more of an explore, head back out, and I think I'm gonna try and grab some mini eggs from W8 Smiths before heading to the gate. The process from check-in to passport check before boarding was seamless, quick and easy. I always love flying on an A380. The interior of the plane itself is incredibly modern and spacious, even in economy. I was sat in seat 69K right by the window. I always pick a seat by the window so I can look out during the flight. Do you prefer a window seat or an aisle seat? Let me know in the comments. The screen was huge, the biggest I've seen in economy, and the entertainment options were also fantastic and the best I've seen out of all the airlines I've flown. After about 30 to 40 minutes on board, we finally took off to start our journey to Dubai. I might sound like an Emirates super fan from my very positive review so far, but the food didn't disappoint either. In fact, it was the best food I've ever had on an aeroplane. 
I went for the chicken biryani and it also came with cheese and crackers, a chocolate bunny, an orange cream dessert, a sweet corn salad and a milk chocolate cookie. I spent most of my time watching live sport, but there were also so many other options to choose from. Okay, so I'm now in the toilet, so I thought I'd do a quick toilet tour just to show you what the toilets look like on the A380 from London to Dubai. So we've got a sink here, we've got some soap, which looks quite nice. Obviously the mirror, I have a mirror here. The toilet actually looks quite nice, to be honest. I've seen much worse. So yeah, this is what the toilet looks like. We've got about an hour left until we land. Um, and then yeah, gonna be in Dubai. Very, very, very excited. The flight itself flew by and before I knew it we had started our descent into Dubai, just in time for sunset. Before we landed they showed us a promo video for the city, which showed examples of the types of activities you can do both during the day and at night. Flying into Dubai always makes me so excited and it's definitely one of my favourite cities in the world. Emirates is definitely one of, if not my favourite airline, and I'm looking forward to flying with them in the future. Have you flown with Emirates? If so, what was your experience like? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon for another video.